Higdon Outdoors Television is brought to you by Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. Power Calls, unleash the power. Yukonuba, the official dog food of Higdon Outdoors. Momarsh, hunt hard, hide easy. Oh, you look a little stoved up. Here, what's wrong with you? I bet you blew a cruciate, huh? Your tail still works, doesn't it? Say, my tail's 110%, my leg's not. I'm Ira McCauley, veterinarian, founder of Momarsh, co-founder of Habitat Flat, father of two, still married somehow to my wife, Kelly. I'm Aaron, I'm Ira's brother, the better looking half. Uh, Co-owner of Habitat Flats, uh, veterinarian. Ira and I share a veterinary practice together, share a couple businesses. Cash, say hi to the camera. Good girl. Yeah, you got a little different look about you than Cash does, don't you? Tall dog. Cocklebird magnet right here. Hunting dog of the south. I feel our problem right there, yep. Look at this, Johnny, another mean old pit bull. Oh yeah, look at that. Almost every veterinarian has wanted to be a veterinarian their whole life. Like that is what they've wanted to do since day one. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, I worked for a veterinarian, so I thought, well, I'll apply to vet school. I'm sure I won't get in. I applied to vet school and I got in. I was like, oh my God, I, I think they made a mistake. I was definitely the black sheep of our veterinary class. I remember one time I skipped a day of school, so I had one of my professors fill out an absentee slip and said, well, what are you doing? I said, oh man, I need a mental health day. So he signs the deal. Well, it was September 1st. What do you think I was doing? Trust me, some of the professors knew what I was doing. So. Uh, yeah, I got a severe talking to after that. We didn't try any more mental health days after that, but uh, yeah, I mean, I love being a veterinarian. Every day is like Christmas. I mean, you just never know what you're gonna have, what's gonna walk through the door, what set of challenges you're gonna have, and I love the people that work for us. They're great people, and they do an excellent job. I take on a lot of veterinary shadows, you know, young kids. They always ask me, how did I get, you know, to, to wanting to be a veterinarian? And uh, I think the impetus for me was just the years of, of hunting and kind of being around hunting dogs kind of sparked that fire. Our offices are in St. Charles County. I mean, it's a huge duck hunting area, right? And so, yeah, I mean, we see all the things that are common in sporting dogs, you know, retrievers in particular. I mean, you know, when people trust you to take care of their four-legged family members, I mean, it makes you feel proud. I mean, you know, you're, all you can do is just do the best job that you can. You know, you're not gonna win them all. You gotta know that. So there's a lot of things about veterinary medicine that are super rewarding. And there's some that are super tough. Some of the things we're challenged with, I mean, it's just not easy to be a veterinarian. You know, you see some very difficult things. I love being a veterinarian, I really do. It's such a, it's an honor, it's a profession that's an honor to be in. For me, God's calling, for me, that's how I can help people every day, you know, and find empathy and, and, and compassion that I can share with people. And so, I think it brings me personally a lot of personal fulfillment. call this little hole Rockefeller Center. Plan is have a quick little ring neck roundup. We've got Kyle Jones with us. We've got Ira McCauley, of course, Bo Brooks, a great film crew, great dog named Cash down there on this end. And then we've got old Max down here on this end. Visman blinds, Visalab blinds, and a uh, bunch of heavy shot. So great people, great farm, and uh, hopefully it's a great hunt. Look at this, look at this. This dog right here, watch why I say Spoonies. Max, Spoonies! This just lights up. It's amazing. This is a great day. Just call your shot. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Oh, yeah. Shot put, state champ. Good morning. All right, boys. Let's get, let's get rolling. All right. Showtime. All right, let's shoot him. Go ahead. Oh, man. Hey! Ooh, the smell of gunpowder in the morning. Yeah. Feathers falling from the sky. Yeah. Mallard Drake. We don't want to waste our birds on those Mallard Drakes. Ring neck and a Mallard Drake flying together. You got it like that. Hit right up front, right up front. 
Come back around. Get him, get him. Nice Good shot. shot, Mark. See it. That a dog. Max said, these taste funny. <laughs> single on the right. Let's just single on the right. Single on the right. Go ahead, Bo. Get him. That's pretty out there, that pink. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. The ring neck silhouette. Ring neck silhouette coming in. <laughs> Here comes the whole crow roost. Your poor clients down the road are probably like, what kind of crows do you guys have here? <laughs> Eating ringnecks and calling crows. And it just doesn't get much better than that. What else would you do on a Monday? Nothing but the best habitat flats. <laughs> Inside every dog is something extraordinary waiting to be unleashed. For the people who recognize their potential, who coach raw ability into dogs who inspire awe. For people whose greatest achievement is the bond they've built and the stories they share. We're with you, fueling the extraordinary things your dog can do. Are you hungry, girl? Hmm? Oh, look it. Oh. Okay, free. So, you know, there's several great dog foods that are out there, but I, I wanted to partner up with you, Canuba, and I say I, me, Momarsh, Higdon, because uh, we're a tight-knit community, and we want to partner with brands that are wanting to be supportive of what we do and, and looking out for the best interests of a dog's nutrition, trying to help them mentally and physically in the field be able to perform the tasks that we need them to. Yukonuba's diet certainly does that. The dogs look great, they feel great, and I'm excited to partner up with them. If you get a chance, try the pink bag. Uh, a lot of people in our community are, and you're going to see them around. Cash. So not everybody's lucky enough to bring their dog to the office like I can, but even if you can't bring it to the office, you know, if you're at your kid's baseball game and you're bored or uh, at, at home and you're tinkering around, you know, anytime you have time, you can just take a few minutes, especially with a young dog, and work on simple stuff like hold, fetch, little short drills. I do them here at the office in the parking lot all the time. You know, I'd encourage you to use the tools that you have at hand. We laid a heck of a foundation right here where I'm standing this summer for cash here by, you know, building confidence with marks, pattern blinds, and playing baseball. Rough, Sally, Sadie, Cash. And so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be a long session. Take five, 10, 15 minutes. Use the place you have at hand and uh, build that solid foundation of obedience and confidence in your puppy. Good, see it. Good. Good way to burn off some of that good Yukonuba food. Build some confidence, you know, just simple stuff, quick stuff. Keeps her in the game. Gives me a break from being in there. Take some little sessions with your young dog and both of you enjoy it. Had a girl. All right, we gotta get back to work. Enough messing around. Tell me about Sadie. Who's Sadie? Well, Sadie was Ira's friend, you know. I think we all get just one really special dog in your lifetime. You have great dogs, but you have one dog you should really have a super connection with, and, and for Ira, that was Sadie. All the time, she amazed me, you know? <laughs> you know, it's just tough. But I remember when she was nine months old, um, I was guiding Habitat Platts and it was cold and wet. And I had her in my truck, it was spring snow view season. And Robin Hayes, one of my favorite clients we have, he, he was like, don't leave her in the truck, you bring her out there. I said, oh man, she doesn't know what she's doing. I mean, she'll, she's probably gonna run around. He's like, I don't care, bring her out there. So we had a pretty nice little shoot. We shot some geese, she retrieved some geese. She didn't want to get in her blind. It was wet and it was cold. And she was like, ugh, this, you know, you tell she just wouldn't have much fun. So, I mean, I tried not to get too hard on her. You know, I think that's a common mistake a lot of us make is we just, our expectations are here. And we have a young dog, you just can't have those expectations. And so the next day I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, she's, she's not gonna want to get in that blind again. We're gonna butt heads again and we'll get out there and, she goes right in the blind. I'm like, hmm, 
well, I'm sure that won't last. And then it was like, okay, I'm over it. So from that point on, I never had problems with her going in the blind again. And just all kinds of other things. You know, we talked about a little bit today. You, you have a young dog and you watch light bulbs come on and it's just really cool to watch that. But she had so many retrieves where we were like, there's no way she's gonna get that duck, you know. And she'd always get it and always bring it back, you know. Like she knew what those ducks were gonna do before they did, so, you know, cause she'd seen it so many times. Uh, she was special, really funny dog. I mean, just super cool. Great family pet. Everybody loved Sadie. I mean, she was just an awesome dog. And uh, she was tough, man. I mean, that dog always came back with a duck. I mean, almost every time. A lot of times she'd come back with a duck you didn't shoot. You know, she was coming back with a duck one way or the other. She never, she never quit. I mean, always went. She was really good. Birds are picky. When it comes to choosing the right blind, you should be too. At Momarsh, our waterfowling philosophy is simple. To have the most success, you need to be mobile, comfortable, and concealed. Whether it's shallow water, the field, or a spot for your best friend, Momarsh has you covered. Come see what the ducks can't. Hunt hard, hide easy. Momarsh. Get him, go. Get him, go. That's nice. good. Hey! There we go. Posted it right. Midwest campus backs. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. No. Come in low and tight. Dogs are steady. You shoot, two birds fall. They're both steady. Send one, they're steady. Send the other one, ducks come back. Good girl. Life's good. Three, drop, drop. Drop. Good boy, Max. Good boy. If it's on the right side, we'll send Max. You know, if it's on the left side, send, send Cash. At times, since we had two, just let him get going so that it wasn't gonna be a fight, you know, have them both getting there at the same time. You know, if we'd have sent them at the same time and they both went for the same bird, then he got, you know, they're each pulling on it and all that, so I let him get a head start so that she'd go for the other one, you know what I mean? Here they come, locked up. Oh, oh another one joined them. Yes. Nice shot. Hash! He came from behind us somewhere there. <laughs> Good. Boy, those did it right. Well, the one did. Came right to that pulse later. Them daddy daddies. I love gadwall. Well, this is the ultimate mixed bag. Yeah, buddy. Good, thank you. I got it. Drop it. Good. Get him. Yeah. Hey, hey! That was nice. No prisoners. That was money. <laughs> Great shooting, guys. High five, air yeah. pound. Air pound. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> our book over at Locust Grove, our log book that I write in every day, is going to be uh, pretty interesting after this morning. We got one of these, two of these, one of these. We checked a lot of boxes this morning. Well, I think everybody can relate to how special the relationship is uh, with their pet. And uh, I don't think you have to be a, a, a hunter to understand the human animal bond, um, whether it's a, a cat that, you know, is your life or your chihuahua uh, that's your life. That bond has been there since, you know, the beginning of, of, of mankind. And so for me, I think the, the bond is even more special with a, a hunting pet that you've invested so much of your time into training over and all those hours that you're putting in there to get that dog, you know, not just to be your buddy, because they're, they're ready for that, but to uh, 
invest that time in them and get them really dialed in for hunting season. And you're proud of them just like you would be if you know it was your kid. Um, and watching them go out there and, and, and do their thing, like you got little cash, you know, light bulbs going off for the first couple times and you can kind of see her learning. And, and that's great, just like watching a kid play t-ball or you know, your, your old timer that uh, you know, is your Sadie girl that you know, you've spent just countless hours with. I mean, it's more than your friend, you know, it's, that's your family. Being able to bring Max out here and watch him be successful, pick up birds, and, and also getting to hunt with a dog like Cash and Ira and seeing him respect Cash by being steady and honoring her and letting her do her thing. You, uh, you look at yourself and you realize, heck, it's all worth it. I've got a good dog that listens and saves me a bunch of walking. And uh, overall, that's really what you want for yourself and your dog is just to be happy and enjoy the hunt. It's been said many a time that the greatest conservation tool we have as hunters is a good dog. Cash is still young, but I'm real happy with the way she is, you know, where she is right now. And she's doing a nice job. Oh, right here up front. Two All right, well, you try it. Get him. That is so reasonable. There he is. Cash! Yeah, baby. Oh, Cash, you gotta go use your nose, girl. You didn't go deep enough. I think she's in the area of fall there. She should find it. She still hadn't figured out how to use her nose good yet, though. It's easy to overhandle them, you know. I'm not gonna be a whole lot of help to her. I mean, I can go in there and stomp around too, but she's got a lot better chance of finding it with her nose. But that's something that a dog figures out by repetition, you know. So you can see her in there like using her nose, trying to wind it, but she's still got a ways to come on like learning to hunt dead and find a duck with her nose. Go find it, go get it. I have to give you credit for your Tacticam mounting device this morning. I mean, you want to talk about MacGyver. <laughs> Found a stick, mounted the Tacticam, and then commenced to brushing in the stick. It's pretty <laughs> impressive. If you were ever on an island, like Survivor or something, you'd do all right, man. I had a girl, had a girl, good. Here, heel, good, good, heel, good. You got a stick and a duck, didn't you? Good, and a girl. <laughs> You know what I love about Bo? It doesn't matter if the wood ducks are deaf or the ringnecks are deaf, he's still gonna give them hell every time. I'm gonna try. He's no quitter. Nope. I'll take some of those tetras now. <laughs> What's the name of you guys got down called? The Ignite? Ignition. Ignition. I was blowing it in heaven yesterday. You can really, it puts out a lot of freaking volume. I was trying to see if I could stick it. And, I mean, it's. You can freaking rail on it. Introducing the new and improved Heavy Metal from Heavy Shot. 16% more downrange knockdown power with new higher density bismuth pellets layered over corrosion resistant steel. Try the new Heavy Metal today and increase your odds. Tighter patterns, longer range, Clean kills. Heavy shot. I didn't come this far to miss.
wife did great, man. I mean, she's, I'm proud of her. She's been very steady. She's marking good, learning how to use her nose. You did a good job, girl. Yeah. I'll give you some, give you some 30-20 when we get home, okay? We've had a great time with Ira and Aaron up here at Locust Grove, and it was an awesome trip. We knew today we had to get on the road this afternoon, so we hit the low-lying fruit. We knew we were getting in here and we were gonna shoot a lot of things that weren't Mallard Drakes, and that's okay with us. You know, honestly, it was very fun. It's something different, and we enjoy it just as much as you guys. We got to shoot a few ducks. We had a great time, lots of laughs and smiles. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Ira. Yeah, man. It was a pleasure. Your voice sounds a little more scratchy than it did when you showed up. There's too many things to call that out here. <laughs>